गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू क्लास थ्री आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर सेफ एंड टेकिंग प्रॉपर प्रिकॉशंस अगेंस्ट दिस वायरस सो टुडे इज आर फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ साइंस एंड वी विल लर्न अबाउट लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स सो नाउ टेल मी विच ऑफ दीज कैन वॉक कैन अ फैन वॉक नो it cannot can a pen walk no it cannot but can a girl walk yes a girl can walk so now the next question which of these can breathe can a glass breathe no it cannot breathe can a boy breathe yes a boy can breathe can a fish breathe yes a fish can also breathe let's move to the next question which of these can grow can a plant grow think can a plant grow yes a plant can grow can a mobile phone grow no mobile phone cannot grow can a baby grow yes a baby can grow Now tell me, which of these can feel, respond, and need food to survive? Do birds need food to survive, and they can feel and respond also? Yes, birds need food to survive. If they will not get food, they will die. Do a baby goat needs food? Yes, baby goat need food. Can a TV feel or respond? No, a TV cannot feel. It cannot respond, and it even does not need food to survive. Okay, now tell me the next question. Which of these can produce babies? Have you seen a dog with its baby? Yes, we have seen dog with its baby. Have you seen a hen with its babies? Yes, hen also have. its baby have you seen a school bag with its baby no school bag does not produce any babies so now we can conclude living things are those things which can move which can breathe which can grow which can feel and respond which can produce babies and they need food to survive if we are asking about a thing like if we want to uh, discuss whether this thing is a living thing or a non living thing if all these characteristics are present in a thing then we can say that it is a living thing now let's study about characteristic of living things in detail now we will learn how living things breathe human and animals breathe through its nose if we talk about fish fish does not breathe through its nose but it has gills to breathe now let's talk about some insects this is a picture of a caterpillar as you can see there are small black hole on the caterpillar's body these holes are called as spiracles with the help of spiracles some insects can breathe now let's talk about earthworm this worm is found inside the ground or below the ground and it breathe through its skin now we will study how do plants breathe till now we have studied how human beings breathe or how animals breathe or how insects breathe Now we will study how do plants breathe. Plants breathe through their tiny pores called stomata. Stomata is a small hole or we can say it is a pore present on the underside of the leaf. Like we have nose to breathe. So in that same manner plants have small holes called stomata through which plants can breathe. plants take in carbon dioxide gas and give out 
oxygen gas in return. So now we will study about living things feel and respond. Human beings and animals can feel through their sense organs. As you have studied in your previous class, there are five types of sense organs. Eyes, nose, skin, tongue and ears. With the help of these five sense organs, human beings and animal can feel things around them. Now let's talk about insects. How do insects feel and respond? Insects have antenna to sense things around them. With the help of antenna, they can feel. Like we can feel with the help of our sense organs. In that same manner, insects can feel the things around them with the help of antenna. Now we will study how living things reproduce. Living things produce more living things of their own kind. Like babies of cow resemble to their mother. Human beings give birth to babies that grow into an adult. Like if you are a child, you will resemble to your mother or your father. So this process of producing more living things of their own kind is called reproduction. So thank you students for watching this video. We will meet again on in the next class. Till then take care and goodbye.